Well, welcome back to the Handy Outdoorsman. Today is uh, July 14th. I'm up at the property and uh, I've got a little bit more work to do on the well. Every time I go to pump water, uh, it's still producing a lot of water. However, it's uh, very sandy. I never did flush the well last year uh, when I put this in. So today, I'm going to go ahead and um, try and flush the well and or pump some of that sand out of the bottom that's collected in the sand point. So I brought up uh, my generator, a pump, and some PVC piping. And what I'm going to do is take the pump off of the uh, pipe going into the ground and I'm going to put down this PVC piping and then hook that up to an electric pump and see if we can't pump some, uh, some water out of this well to kind of clear it. And I don't know if you can see it here on camera, but what I've done is taken a piece of uh, PVC, a coupling, and just cut some teeth in it so that when it goes down into the well, I can turn it and kind of stir up the dirt uh, on the bottom. So that's what we're going to do today is go ahead and get set up. And once I get everything set up, um, I'll show you uh, everything that I have to, to do this uh, particular task and I actually got this task off of another youtuber Joe and Zach's survival channel and I'll put a link to their website in the description uh, but they pretty much have the same setup as I do and I got the idea from him or I should say from their uh, YouTube channel so I'm gonna do the same thing uh, but what I'm trying to do is is uh, stop all of this sand from coming up flush the well get it clean and hopefully I can have some uh, clean water and we should be good from there. So let me get set up and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's my setup. I have the PVC pipe going down into the well and it's, uh, and it's bottomed out. I then have a non-collapsible hose going from the PVC pipe into my pump and the reason it needs to be non-collapsible because of the suction that is created or that it draws is that if you had a regular uh, garden hose here and depending upon the depth of your well that more than likely that that hose will collapse and um, it might still work but you wouldn't get the optimal flow through it so uh, the pump manufacturers suggest that you get a rigid a hose and or non-collapsible hose. So this is just uh, a hose you would put on a um, washing machine or something like that. And then I have on this side is a discharge pump that goes over to a bucket. And I just wanted to kind of capture uh, the water coming out, make sure that it's still running clean. Uh, but I'll let this run for a little while. And so I'll get that started and uh, show you how that's all done. So as you can see here, uh, there is a ton of sand that, uh, that we pulled out of there. So we'll keep, uh, keep doing this and then see how it cleans out.
Well, I've been at this for about uh, two hours now, and it's running a lot clearer. I've got just a little bit of sand down in the bottom, but nothing compared to what I had earlier. So, I'm going to continue to let this run um, for another hour or so and see where we finish up at. Well, this is three hours, and I'm not seeing <clears throat> but just a tad bit of sand, and I'm not sure if that wasn't in there uh, before we started. But it's been uh, three hours, and the well is still pumping, and I've still got a pretty good steady stream. Uh, so I'm in a very good uh, water source, is, is meaning uh, plentiful. So this is going pretty good. So we'll just keep going here while I'm uh, putzing around doing other stuff on the property. I'll come back and I'll check it. Um, but I think we're getting, uh, we're making some headway here and we're making progress. All right, so I'll give you an update in a little bit. So it takes just under two minutes to fill up a five gallon bucket. So I think the flow rate is, uh, is pretty good. On the output here, you know, I'm starting to produce enough water to where it's not seeping into the ground uh, as fast as it was before. So uh, the water's been running for quite a while. If we look in this bucket here, I'll move the water away, you can see um, there's just a little bit, little bit of sand, which could have been after I, I didn't flush the the last bucket completely whatnot but it's it's clear uh, the water is run clear all this time so I think we've achieved our goal today and in, uh, in flushing the well so I'm gonna pack things up here and get ready to go home so this is the setup that I have um, to flush my well you know I saw somebody else do it on YouTube thought I'd replicate it and it worked for me just as uh, just like it did for him so if you have any questions on uh, you know on what I've done here please don't uh, hesitate to, to leave a comment I hope that this has been beneficial to you and that you've learned something from it I, I have definitely learned a lot putting this well in um, but I'm just glad that I now have uh, fresh clean water every time I come up here just need to bring water to prime the pump and we're good to go so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something and got something from it. So, until the next video, take care. God bless.